In this episode, I will explain how you can program your FPGA by using the VHDL language and create a half adder on your FPGA. Hello guys, welcome to another episode at IB Electronics World and today I will explain how you can create a half adder by using VHDL language on the basis 3 FPGA. So you need to create a new project here. You need to give a name, so I will give half adder adder 1 and then you need to click continue and then you need to select do not specify sources and RTL project you need to select then your uh, FPGA in my case I'm using this one and then once you finished your project is going to open First thing you need to do, you need to go to the design, add source. So actually I'm going to add your design. You need to select add or create design source. You need to create a file. You need to select the language of VHDL and you need to give exactly the same name. Half add one and okay. And finish and now it will pop up the second window which you, you need actually so what you need to create is this one so this one is the half half other so you have two inputs you have one XOR logic gate and one AND gate and you have the sum and the carry bit so practically these two inputs are A and B and the carry is this one so one once you have one and one you you have the carry bit and the sum it's uh, when one of the inputs are high, you will have one. Let's go back to our uh, table here. So the first input it will be A, the second it will be B, the third one it will be the carry, which is going to be an output, and the last one it will be the sum and again it will be output and by clicking ok you have created the design source so here you need to add your code and let's try to do that right now so you will do first your car in equal to a and b and then go sum will be equal to a so b and you need to save that. Second thing you need to do is to create a constraint. So you need to add again a source, add or create constraints, create file here. And you need, I will give the name constraints. Okay. And then finish. And if you expand this here, you will see that you have the constraints. And in that case, you need to go on the GitHub and copy paste the master. I'm not sure if you remember from the last episode, but I have copy pasted in my local drive. It's this one. 
so you can open it with your splash. So you can just copy and paste it here. Just make sure that everything here are uh, commented out. Okay, this one's not. Otherwise, it will mess up your your FPTA. Yeah, and as I can see here, everything is commented out. So in our case, we need two inputs, so two switches. By clicking on this toggle line, it's uncommented it. the, the switch is here. So in my case, I will use these two as an A, A, and this one will be B. And, B. and then we need two outputs, two LEDs, which are these two. The first one will say that is carry. And carry. Will be the sum and sum and yeah, save it again. But let's see what we have done so far. We can simulate that and see the behavior of the half adder. And as you can see here, it doesn't do anything because I need to force as a clock the first input. So the leading it will be the leading it, it will be zero, and then the trailing will be one. And let's say this one it will be ten and second. And the second one force clock again, zero and one. And then this one, it will be 20. And if you zoom fit, if you just click on that, you will see that the output looks something like that. You can zoom in. And you can see that actually it's correct. So the carry bit it will be 1, 1, a uh, 1 when both inputs are 1. And when we have zero zero, it's everything zero, and then you have input A, which is one the sum, and it's correct. Yeah, and it's always good also to check the RTL analysis because it will show you the design, so what you have implemented so far, and it's good to check if you have done any mistakes. So in my case here, as you can see. It's correct because I have the carry bit into the AND gate and the, in the XOR we have the sum and the two inputs. And let's now continue. I have connected now the FPTA on, but before we do, we need to. Uh, you can continue by synthesis and implementation, but I will just go away, go and straight away generate the bit stream. You need to click OK, but it will take some time, so I will pause the video now. The generation of uh, the bitstream has finished now, and you can close that. No, OK, and you need to open the hardware. As I said previously, I have connected the hardware, so you need to open the target, auto connect, and now you need to program your device. It will be just straightforward. Program your device. And it's done. So now we can check the FPGA board. Going back to the hardware, and this is the FPGA, and I have 
also just drawing out the logic diagram and this is the truth table so as you can see i have uh, set the one the a the ones the first three it's here which is the a which is equal to one it's true so you can see here the sum it's one and if i will switch on the second switch so it means we have a one and one and it's equal to zero the sum and one is the carry and if I will do the other way around, you can see still the sum is on. And if I will switch them off, it's both 0 and 0. And that was it for today. Before I close this episode, I would like to thank you very much for your support. I have now reached 100 subscribers. And I would like to give away one Arduino Nano to one of you guys. Uh, the only thing you need to do is just subscribe and write down a comment. Why do you need the Arduino Nano? And I will announce who is going to get the Arduino Nano in four weeks' time. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please share and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode.